Let us learn how to animate an object so it moves along a pre-existing path. For example, let us select this circle, add a line animation so it goes down. But then we need to make it stop at this point so the first leg is taken care of. Then let us add another animation, go to spin and it needs to rotate counterclockwise and it needs to rotate only quarter way through so we choose quarter spin. So that is how it rotates. Then we will need to make it move from here to here. So add another animation, motion path line animation, but we need to have it go to the right. So the starting point of this is exactly where the previous one ends and then move this to this portion where the second leg of this line ends. Now remember it is facing this direction so it needs to turn around and then face down. So we are going to add another animation this time spin and this time it is going to be clockwise which is the default one and it is going to turn quarter way so quarter spin and this happens after previous. So you can see that all of these are going to happen one after another. So let us say after previous and then it needs to move from here to here. So let us add another animation lines and the starting point of this is going to be from here and then the end point is going to be here and this again happens after previous. Let us change the duration of all this to just 0.5 seconds. So we don't really test the patience of people. When I go to slideshow, this is how the movement happens. Isn't that beautiful? Now where do you use it? Take a look at this visualization where we show one cause which is this and the result is like this. So this is result one and this is result two and this is result three. This is a template from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. The link is in the description box below. For more tutorials, come to Presentation Process YouTube channel.